Hi, I'm Maithili and welcome to India Food Network. Firstly, I want to thank all the viewers from all over the world for giving me some fantastic feedback. I am so glad that you all are watching my videos and enjoying my recipes. So today I am going to do a very traditional recipe which is the vegetable and mint shahi biryani. Now biryanis can be very daunting with loads of ingredients and cooking techniques but I assure you though the ingredient list is quite big it is very simple to make. So to know more about this recipe stay tuned to India Food Network. So though the ingredient list is really long, the cooking technique is very simple and I assure you that the biryani will be ready in no time. So let's see what the ingredients are. Here I have two cups of rice that I've cooked in some salted water and added some saffron to it. Here I have half a cup of potatoes that I've fried, about one and a half cups of boiled vegetables like cauliflower, carrots, peas, French beans about half a cup of fried onions, some fried cashew nuts, soaked raisins, one tomato which I've chopped, some fresh mint, coriander, one cup of yogurt, two tablespoons of fresh cream, two tablespoons of grated cheese, quarter teaspoon of haldi or turmeric, one teaspoon of red chilli powder, two teaspoons of dhana jeera powder, about one to one and a half teaspoons of biryani masala, about two teaspoons of ginger garlic which I've chopped, some salt to taste and two tablespoons of oil. So after all these ingredients, let's find out how to make this quick biryani. So because the ingredient list is so long, what I do is I just plop all these ingredients into one big bowl and marinate the vegetables. So first, let's get the vegetables in this bowl. And now I'm going to add the yogurt. The fresh cream. The cheese. Then the mint. Of course, the most important ingredient. Some nice freshly chopped coriander, which gives all the freshness. Quarter teaspoon of haldi or turmeric. One teaspoon of chilli powder. Two teaspoons of dhana jeera powder. About one teaspoon to one and a half teaspoons of biryani masala. Some salt to taste. And of course the tomatoes. So now I'm going to simply mix all these ingredients so that they mix and blend well. Now last, add the potatoes because we don't want them to get too soggy and a bit of the onions, maybe a tablespoon or so. Okay, so really there are two ways of doing this biryani. You can just layer these vegetables as is in a pot or a pan that you're making your biryani in and then just layer the rice over it and let it cook covered for about 30 to 40 minutes on a low flame. So you don't have to wait and watch and you can sip a wine while the biryani is working. Just remember to place a pan underneath the cooking pot so that the heat distributes evenly throughout. So now I have marinated the vegetables for a good 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm just going to saute them now. So just put it on medium heat. I'm going to add two tablespoons of regular vegetable oil. You can also add ghee here or butter. And once the oil heats up, I'm going to add the ginger and the garlic just to remove the rawness from that.
Just saute it for a couple of minutes. And now simply plop in all these ingredients into the pan. So now I'm going to let these vegetables cook for a good 5 to 6 minutes till all the flavors blend in while I prepare the rice for it. So here I have some salted cooked rice and in that I've put some saffron. So a good tip here would be to dissolve the saffron in some milk to make it more rich and so that the color and the flavor spreads evenly. So here I have the rice. And to this, I'm going to add some fried onions and just mix it nicely. And remember to flavor it with some salt at this point in time, otherwise the biryani can get quite bland. So now my vegetables are almost cooked here. It doesn't take much time because we already parboiled our vegetables before. So now just spread it evenly in a layer. Just reduce the temperature to low. And now I'm going to simply layer the rice on top. So it's got all the goodness of vegetables. You can add for cottage cheese, you can add some chicken. I mean, whatever you like. Finally, I'm going to add some soaked raisins. So why we add it right now, the rice soaks in all the sweetness and gives it a really rich and decadent taste later on. And the fried onion. And now I'm going to place a foil or any tight container or something on top. So now I've placed this foil over the pan. Just make sure that all the steam gets trapped. So now we're going to let this biryani sit for about 10 to 15 minutes on a very low flame till the entire house is full of the fantastic flavor. So after 15 minutes, I'm just checking if it's done. Oh wow, it looks fantastic and most divine. The final garnish would be to top some fried cashews on top just to make it that royal and shahi and some really fresh chopped coriander. So my vegetable and mint shahi biryani is ready. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'm sure you're going to try to make it. Do leave me suggestions and comments and let me know if you've liked it. Subscribe to India Food Network and do not stop watching Bon Appetit with Maithili. This is Maithili signing off until next time. Bye!